Hi film friends, here's wishing you a happy 2020 and a great start to the decade. In today's video, we will be talking about the Lomography LCA Plus, which is done in collaboration with our good friend Joel. Hey film friends, I'm very excited to be speaking on this video. Just a quick shout out to Lomo for sending me the, this camera and some film to shoot on. Before anyone starts getting confused with the different LCA models, this Plus version is the newest one from Lomography. This model sports the same Minita 132mm f2.8 lens from the original Russian LCA made in 1984. It features both automatic shutter and aperture control, with a rather rudimentary zone focusing system ranging from 0.8m, 1.5m, 3m and infinity. Shutter speeds range from about to 1500, which is a useful enough speed range. The LCA Plus is a tiny camera with the size and functions being very similar to cameras like the Rolly 35 or Olympus Trip 35. It is fully made of metal which gives the tiny thing some heft. Loading and unloading the camera is very simple. Just depress the rewind button and wind the lever until there is no tension. The last step would be to pull the lever upwards to open the back cover and retrieve your film. While putting in a new roll of film, it could be a challenge to get the film to catch onto the winding knobs the first time as the film knobs are quite small. But after a few tries, it should wind in. Once you have done so, be sure to tightly close the back cover to prevent light leaks. And the last step is to change the ISO slash ASA knob to the film speed that you are shooting at and make sure you do so because it's quite small and easy to overlook that knob. Basically, we did a bunch of double exposures just because of how easy it was to do with this camera. A simple slide of the switch at the bottom of the camera and you're all set. To make things more interesting, we decided to approach double exposures slightly differently. One of us will shoot a frame first and pass the camera over to the next person to complete the double exposure. The challenge here is that you would not know what the previous person has shot. So shooting the Lomo LCA Plus was a very liberating experience. I didn't have to think about the aperture and the shutter speed and whether I was getting like a proper exposure because the camera was doing all the work for me. The only thing that I had to concern myself with was to make sure I got it in focus and that was quite an interesting experience as you'll see in the video. We <laughs> sort of measured the distance with our hands, putting our hands out in front of us before we took a photo. I really like shooting with the LCA Plus because similar to what Joel said, this camera is really easy to shoot with. All you have to do is really just find your subject, frame the shot and shoot it. Another thing I like about this camera is the size and how unassuming it looks. Um, and because of that, it makes it very easy to do street photography because I won't be afraid to get like a bit more up close and personal to a stranger to like take the shot that I want to take. However, one gripe I have about this camera is the focusing system. I don't really like zone focus and I feel that I often forget to um, change the focus or like I don't really know how to gauge. So I'm not very confident in using zone focusing and that's the only thing that I don't like about the camera. So after receiving our double exposures back, we realised that our orientations for each photograph was different and it made the photo look kind of interesting. But I definitely have to take note of orientation the next time we ever do double exposures. When I got back the photos, the first thing that sort of caught me by surprise was how sharp the images were, especially at infinity. You could see the details of each shot and it was just a very surprising thing coming from such a tiny camera. 
The LCA Plus is definitely a user-friendly camera. You just have to set the aperture and set the distance and worry about framing. It's relatively hassle-free to shoot and you get amazing results with the glass um, and it's small enough to have you bring around everywhere and not have excuses to not bring a camera. And that's it guys, we've come to the end of yet another video. I have to thank Drell for joining us today and do look him up on Instagram at tootalude with some underscores in between. We'll put it down in the description below. As usual, do leave a like or comment below if you have any thoughts and we will see you in the next one. Bye!